welcome to the lecture on temperature distribution in welding. So, uh, we will be extending uh, you know the from the previous lecture where we uh, we were uh, towards uh, giving getting the expression for the uh, temperature distribution in welding process and we were talking about that condition where there is a moving heat source. So, as we discussed that uh, as there is moving heat source. So, distance of any point as it is changing with respect to the tip of electrode uh, and for establishment of quasi stationary state uh, what we do is origin is shifted. So, that the tip of electrode can be considered to be located at a fixed distance from the point under consideration. So, that way uh, you are uh, changing that and what we saw uh, in our uh, you know uh, earlier uh, lecture that uh, you had uh, we are taking this uh, you know plate large plate and in that this is your uh, direction of welding and uh, your this is your uh, you know origin. And uh, this is the point suppose uh, some point A is there which is x y z, but what we do is um, you know we define one uh, uh, parameter zeta that is x minus v t. And uh, accordingly uh, we got uh, you know uh, so uh, since x is uh, zeta minus v t. Uh, uh, so, zeta is x minus v t. So, you can have the expressions for uh, uh, dou zeta by dou x dou square zeta by dou x square and all that. So, uh, what we uh, saw now in this case uh, this is uh, your uh, so this is uh, the origin and this is how it is uh, moving at and at any point say uh, your this is a uh, the point suppose say where the uh, tip of the electrode is there. So, that is why we take this point as uh, the so, in this direction we take in place of x we take as uh, zeta. So, what we uh, you know uh, got in the earlier case we got d t by uh, d t as uh, minus v uh, dou t by dou zeta and uh, you know plus dou t by uh, you know dou t. Similarly, uh, we got also uh, dou t by dou x is uh, dou t by dou zeta and uh, we also got uh, dou square t by dou x square as uh, dou square t by dou zeta square. So, uh, now uh, we have uh, the uh, you know we had seen the Fourier's uh, uh, equation and what we had seen there that uh, it is uh, dou square t by dou x square plus dou square t by dou y square plus dou square t by dou z square. Now, this is uh, uh, basically uh, uh, we, we derived it to be 1 by alpha of uh, d t by d t. So, we can uh, put these expressions into uh, this place and uh, then we can see that dou square t by dou x square is dou square t by dou zeta square. Similarly, uh, these y and z values will be uh, same because there is no change into it. Uh, and uh, we are getting the d t by d t value as uh, uh, minus v dou t by dou zeta. So, you will have uh, minus v uh, dou t by dou zeta and uh, plus uh, you know dou t by uh, dou small t and then this is multiplied by uh, uh, 1 by alpha term. So, that is uh, the alpha is thermal diffusivity k by rho C p. So, uh, that is what uh, we are getting. Now, uh, for convenience what we take uh, we are uh, taking. Uh, so, we are taking for convenience uh, uh, 1 by alpha as 2 lambda. So, if you take uh, this 1 by alpha as 2 lambda uh, in that case uh, we can uh, write the expressions as dou square t by uh, dou zeta square plus dou square t by dou y square plus dou square t by uh, dou z square. So, it will be uh, minus of uh, uh, 2 lambda v. So, this is alpha is 2 lambda. So, uh, 1 by alpha is uh, 2 lambda. So, it will be minus of 2 lambda v v and uh, then it will be dou t by uh, dou uh, zeta. Now, uh, you know when uh, the quasi stationary state is established if we are talking about the quasi stationary state. In that case, uh, you know, temperature at any uh, point on any instance does not change with time. So, in that case, uh, dou t by uh, dou t will be uh, 0 because it is not changing with uh, 
you know uh, time under that quasi stationary state. So, under uh, you know quasi stationary state you know quasi state of welding. So, this is the equation which uh, uh, you know takes in this form uh, you know taking this uh, v into account. Now, for uh, you know uh, solving this equation uh, what we do do is so this is this equation is basically the uh, the three dimensional differential equation uh, for the uh, you know uh, quasi stationary state of welding when uh, your heat source is moving with uh, a velocity v. Now, uh, in this case uh, you can uh, you know handle uh, you this equation better if you take the uh, you know uh, T. So, T is replaced as uh, T naught plus e raised to the power minus uh, lambda uh, v zeta and uh, phi x y z. So, this way uh, so this is phi x will be basically replaced by zeta. So, uh, you can have uh, the T as T naught plus e raised to the power minus lambda v zeta and uh, then you have phi uh, zeta y z. So, because, uh, because of the velocity term uh, you will have uh, uh, this uh, lambda will be so x will be replaced by this uh, zeta term. So, and uh, in this case uh, T naught is the initial uh, you know temperature of the plate and uh, this phi x y z is the uh, function which is needs to be determined phi. So, phi in fact this that becomes zeta y z. So, this is the uh, function which uh, is required uh, uh, to be determined. Now, uh, what happens that uh, so, um, uh, you need to find the expressions for the uh, dou t by dou zeta. So, if you try to find the expression for dou t by uh, dou zeta. So, dou t by dou zeta will be uh, again minus of lambda uh, you know v and e raised to the power minus uh, uh, lambda v zeta and uh, then you will have uh, here phi uh, and plus e raised to the power minus lambda v zeta and you have dou phi by dou zeta. So, if you further differentiate uh, you will have uh, dou square t by dou zeta square. This dou square t by dou zeta square can be further uh, you know. So, for if you further differentiate it will be lambda square v square then e raised to the power minus uh, lambda uh, and uh, v zeta and uh, this uh, will be phi minus 2 lambda v e raised to the power minus uh, lambda v zeta dou phi by dou z. So, the, that will be dou phi by dou zeta uh, and plus further this term lambda v zeta and it will be dou square phi by dou zeta square. So, this can be you know uh, calculated. Similarly, you will have the expression for dou square t by dou y square. So, you can have the uh, dou square t by uh, dou y square also term can be found out and it will be e raised to the power minus lambda v zeta dou square phi by dou y square and similarly you will have dou square t by dou g z square and that will be e raised to the power minus lambda v zeta and dou square phi by dou z square. So, that is uh, you know uh, this way once you, uh, you you have this function which is defined. So, accordingly you will have uh, since uh, t you are taking as this function. So, you will have dou square t by dou zeta square dou square t by dou y square and dou square t by dou z square. Once uh, you have known these equations then you can further put them uh, into the final equation and the final equation if you uh, try to further simplify then that equation will come of the form dou square phi by dou zeta square plus dou square phi by dou y square plus dou square phi by dou z square minus lambda square v square into phi that will be 0. So, basically uh, after doing some uh, simplification you can find uh, this expression to be dou square phi by dou zeta square plus dou square phi by dou y square 
plus 2 square phi by 2 z square minus of lambda square v square phi that will be equated to 0. And this is the convenient form of equation for the heat flow in the case of uh, quasi stationary case of uh, you know state of welding. So, uh, and then from here we can um, find the temperature distribution inside the uh, in, in the uh, welding process. So, uh, this is uh, the that equation. Now, uh, we will uh, talk about uh, you know the equations which are uh, you know used uh, uh, for finding the uh, temperature distribution. And uh, for that, uh, uh, there has been certain modification. Uh, so, uh, we assumed we assumed the case of uh, the point heat source. However, uh, uh, that is always uh, not true in the case of uh, uh, welding. So, if you don't take uh, the uh, you know uh, finite you know this uh, point heat source, so you have a uh, you have a finite size weld pool. So, uh, you have uh, basically if you consider the finite size weld pool So, in that case uh, the, uh, the derivation which has been given by the Rosenthal equation. So, basically uh, in that there has been um, uh, some changes and uh, uh, following that equation basically Adams has uh, given some uh, modification and uh, uh, Adam and peak they have talked about the uh, peak temperature you know T p. So, they found the uh, peak temperature T p at any distance you know y from fusion boundary. at work piece surface. So, basically uh, you know uh, so we have uh, seen that what are the concept by which you know what are the basically mechanics or, or the theory by which uh, you try to find the temperature distribution inside the welding and then uh, we are uh, you know to find the you know, expression or we have to find basically the peak temperature T p which will be at a uh, distance any y from the fusion boundary of the uh, work piece. So, Adams uh, modification tells uh, that uh, for a two dimensional heat flow for uh, the uh, two dimensional heat flow he has uh, given this uh, modification uh, into the equation and they have uh, uh, given this equation as 1 by T p minus T naught. Uh, this will be so T naught is basically the ambient temperature it will be uh, 4.13 uh, V y g uh, 0 c and then divided by Q p and uh, then it will be plus 1 by T m minus T o. So, this is for the uh, you know uh, uh, two dimensional case other all the uh, you know uh, uh, terms have the uh, usual meaning. So, that way you can uh, put the uh, values and you can have the uh, value of uh, uh, T p being calculated. Now, in this case as you know that your T m is the uh, melting temperature of the uh, material and if you uh, talk about the three dimensional uh, you know heat flow. So, for three dimensional heat flow actually the equation reads as 1 by T p minus T naught this is uh, coming as 5.44 pi uh, k alpha divided by Q p into V and then you will have uh, in the expression you will have 2 plus V y upon 2 alpha square then 1 by plus 1 by T m minus T naught. So, this is the uh, expression for uh, the peak temperature T p at any distance y from the uh, fusion, fusion boundary uh, at the workpiece surface. Further, so this is your uh, uh, Adam and uh, you know Adam has uh, given this uh, you know uh, expression for uh, uh, the change in the Rosenthal equation. Then further uh, you know uh, uh, you Wells modification is there. 
So, the Wells modification tells that uh, uh, you know this uh, is the relationship between the heat flow and the weld bead dimension and that is so this is the relationship between heat flow and weld bead dimension. Now, in this case uh, uh, what Wells has suggested that you have Q p uh, that is your uh, heat uh, input that is in the case of uh, in the units of calorie per minute Q p is 8 times uh, K T m and it will be uh, 1 by 5 plus V d by 4 alpha. So, that is the, the expression for the uh, Q p here uh, Q p is the heat input in calories per second. and centimeter of uh, work thickness. Then uh, as you know uh, in this case d, d is the uh, bead width, v uh, and other terms are uh, having the usual meaning v is the welding speed. And uh, uh, similarly alpha is the thermal diffusivity. So, that way uh, we uh, call this. Now, uh, from this uh, you know equation uh, it will be uh, derived that uh, so, so, so if you try to find the time t. So, if you from this equation from the time t uh, for uh, the material to cool between two temperatures. So, for time t for the material to uh, cool between uh, you know temperatures t 1 and t 2. So, if you are, are, are thinking of uh, finding what will be the time uh, for the uh, specimen to cool from one temperature to other. So, from temperature T 1 to T 2 where T 1 is more than T 2 uh, on the center line of weld. So, so this is for the uh, two dimensional case. Uh, and uh, where you have uh, assumed to be having the case of uh, full penetration. And in this case uh, uh, and, and you can have also the case for the uh, uh, three dimension also. So, for two dimension case uh, you know for 2 d case uh, this uh, uh, t is uh, found as d upon v into um, 5 into v d by 4 alpha plus 2 by 4 and uh, this will be T m upon T 2 square minus T m by T 1 square. So, this way if you know the uh, temperature uh, uh, T 1 to T 2 which is to be uh, you know uh, which uh, for which you have to find the time T in which this uh, uh, temperature uh, will be dropping from T 1 to T 2, T 1 is more than T 2. In that case for two dimensional case uh, uh, you know uh, uh, the this value t can be calculated uh, using uh, this expression and if you go for the uh, three dimensional case then it is uh, calculated using the expression 5 uh, v d by 4 alpha plus 2 uh, and divided by 8 and then you have t m by t 2 minus t m by t 1. So, uh, that way uh, you calculate uh, the expression for the two dimensional as well as the three dimensional cases. So, so this uh, this way uh, I mean these expressions uh, you must be knowing and you can uh, uh, read for uh, you know how these uh, you know expressions are uh, to be used for uh, solving certain cases. For example, uh, you may have uh, the uh, problems uh, uh, for on welding to be solved and uh, you know uh, Suppose, uh, uh, you are uh, coming through such a situation where you have to find the uh, Q p suppose uh, you know uh, for using the Wells modification. So, you can uh, accordingly you know you can accordingly use uh, using the Wells modification you can use for uh, uh, the uh, this. Uh, so, once you, want, you must know the values of this k t m and then you just uh, put uh, these values and you can uh, have uh, uh, 
the values uh, further substituted and get uh, the value of QP. Further, the uh, time to uh, change the temperature uh, from T1 to T2, what will be the time required? So, basically, these uh, you know values will be utilized uh, when you are doing this uh, welding process. In that process, basically, uh, the time uh, during which this uh, any temperature drop is there. You can also uh, try to have the idea about uh, uh, the you know uh, uh, change of temperature with respect to time and that will be talking about the temperature gradient. Now, uh, accordingly uh, you can predict uh, the uh, microstructural changes uh, in that uh, 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 specimen. So, so th that way uh, you can have the microstructural uh, uh, simulation, microstructural prediction in the welded uh, you know uh, uh, specimen. Now, uh, once you have uh, the different value of V, now what happens that when you have uh, the changing welding speed, now what will be uh, you know the, so how, uh, how, how this uh, temperature change, change will be there and accordingly uh, those predictions can be uh, you know uh, made like uh, uh, what will be the uh, associated uh, change in the microstructure uh, in under such circumstances. So, use of uh, uh, these equations are basically uh, uh, important uh, and, and at that time you need to have uh, the uh, proper understanding about uh, the all the terms and how these equations have been derived. So, uh, basically uh, all these derivations have been uh, uh, made uh, by taking these uh, plates of uh, either finite size or infinite size that uh, uh, you can refer to uh, and uh, there has been uh, you know uh, the uh, you know uh, expressions being derived either for the uh, temperature distribution in a uh, large uh, you know uh, infinite uh, plate of uh, uh, finite thickness. So, you may have uh, uh, the cases like uh, you may go for uh, the uh, temperature distribution. So, you can go for the uh, you know temperature distribution in uh, in large plates that is uh, you take as uh, infinite uh, you know plate of finite thickness and uh, uh, then uh, uh, so the 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 analysis uh, goes uh, with uh, taking into account the uh, because uh, once you have uh, a large plate uh, uh, so, the plate thickness is taken as uh, some value as g and then uh, there will be uh, you know again you will have uh, the uh, use of those equations lambda v and r and all these terms will be uh, taken into account and in this case you get uh, the final expressions as t minus uh, uh, t naught. So, that will be uh, for the uh, q by q. So, this will be q p upon 2 pi k and e raised to the power minus uh, lambda v zeta and then uh, you will have uh, uh, coming this uh, expression as e lambda v r uh, divided by r plus you have n equal to 1 to n equal to infinity. So, this is for the uh, you know infinite uh, case. So, infinite thickness and uh, you know finite thickness you have uh, uh, the different uh, cases coming up. So, you will have uh, the summation term and, and that uh, you will have in the term you have I minus lambda v you know uh, R n divided upon uh, R n plus e raised to the power minus lambda v R n prime divided by uh, R n prime. So, that way uh, you know in this case uh, you will have uh, uh, two terms coming up t minus t naught is one is this and another is, uh, is, is for this. So, so, the two equations have been uh, summed up. So, you will have uh, 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 this condition for the uh, you know uh, butt welding basically. So, butt welding of a large semi infinite plate of uh, uh, finite thickness and uh, so that way you if you look at the analyze these two equations you have to, this is the summation of two cores uh, two equations that is q p by 2 pi k e raised to the power uh, you will have minus lambda v zeta into e raised to the power minus lambda v r divided upon uh, you know r. So, this is uh, uh, for the uh, you know uh, first equation is this. Uh, so, and, and then 
you have uh, infinite thickness and then you have the finite thickness if you look at it will be uh, qp upon uh, 2 pi k and e raised to the power minus lambda v zeta and then you will have uh, uh, the uh, this uh, uh, term coming up uh, as the uh, summation. So, you will have uh, e raised to the power minus lambda v r uh, by r plus uh, then you have all these terms coming up. So, that will be for the finite thickness. So, that way uh, this is the um, coming as the, the two equations which are used for either the you know uh, semi uh, large semi and finite plate you know of uh, infinite thickness as well as for the finite thickness. So, these are the two equations and from there uh, you know the uh, Adams and Wells modification has been further incorporated into and you get the uh, expression for the uh, peak temperature at any uh, point at distance y uh, from that fusion line. So, accordingly you can practice more and more and have uh, more understanding about uh, the phenomena uh, in, in the case of welding. Thank you very much.